What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. And if you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery. It is time now for the Monday edition of the Pandemic Update for Monday, September 5th, 2023. We're just going to do a shorter version of the Pandemic Update today. We're going to show you some news going to go over some of the Walgreens data, and there'll be a few things we probably won't show you today, but we will show you uh, some of the states that are, uh, you know, do report daily, such as New Jersey and New York. Starting off today, we did learn last night that First Lady Jill Biden did test positive. President Biden tested negative last night, and President Joe Biden also tested negative again this morning, but read this. President Biden tested negative for COVID this morning, but will be wearing a mask indoors, the White House says. First Lady Jill Biden tested positive just last night. And as you know, they're saying it's mild so far, but we'll have to see what happens. Some people start out mild and then down the line to end up having some issues. This is not her first case. This is at least her second case. And speaking of people who have had more than one case, <laughs> Who remembers when Whoopi Goldberg tested positive in November of last year? That was her second case. Well, scroll down here. This is from my website, datareport.info. Whoopi Goldberg has yet again tested positive for COVID. They say she is on demand and will be back sometimes this week. And if you notice, I put the words, say she's on demand, because I looked at a couple different articles. Didn't hear the words mild mentioned this time. And I even said that here. Interestingly enough, they did not say the word mild this time. This is her third time having COVID. Moving on to this, this is out of Israel. BA 2.86 at 16% of cases in one hospital. So, yeah, it's starting to rise in some countries, and that's something we're going to really have to watch. And then there was this. There was the Air Canada plane. Um that had a little bit of a problem, and Air Canada is now apologizing. Air Canada says it apologizes to customers after passenger seat were reportedly soiled with vomit. Oh, this is disgusting. On a flight from Las Vegas to Montreal. See, here's my problem with these airlines. People that are traveling during a pandemic, and you know what, even pre-pandemic, we can say pre-pandemic, a lot of these flights, I'll give you a prime example. I know people who have taken flights often. A flight may leave, let's just say my city here in Philadelphia, and go up to Vermont, right? That same flight will immediately turn around, it'll pick up another load of people, and come right back to Philadelphia, all within several hours' time. There's not much time to clean these planes. I don't know what the policy is. Maybe every airline's different. I don't know. I haven't fl flown on an airline since, yeah, the late 2000s. But the point I'm trying to make here is... There's probably not a lot of in-between time on these flights that do these immediate U-turns. You know, they go, say, from, let's just say, from Chicago to L.A., and then right back from L.A. to Chicago again, or wherever. How much time is there in-between for them to clean these flights? That's a problem. Also, you know, recirculation of air. They say the air quality is good on planes, but we hear so many people test positive from planes. We see so many people show their air nets having such high readings on planes. So, yeah. The more the reason why I particularly will not be flying anytime soon. Hey, but if you want to fly, that's up to you. But there's a lot of these incidents happening. There was just an incident the other day from a flight that was supposed to go from Atlanta to Barcelona. Someone had a diarrhea incident. All right, enough with these disgusting uh, flight, this disgusting flight conversation. Uh, moving on to BA 2.86, we're not going to read all these numbers now. You just need to know that there are now 53 total. Uh, cases of it, and that the United States is now up to six. So that's something we are watching. Moving on now to the CDC, we know EG.5 is at 21.5%, uh, then comes the FL 1.5.1 variant. And let's see, what else can I show you? Uh, we'll skip over the air quality today. Not terribly concerned except for the east, but I do want to give a plug-in to my other channel. If you are not following my other channel, Climate Data Report, you want to make sure you're subscribed to that because I'm going to be doing videos on a uh, hurricane that's going to be developing. Right now it's Tropical Depression 13 out in the Atlantic, but 
We're going to be talking about Hurricane Lee pretty soon. And you also want to give a follow to my X account, other Twitter account, at Climate Data Reports. A little bit differently because the Climate Data Report, you couldn't, you can only do so many characters. It's RPT at the end. I'll have the link for it down below. But as you can see here, we're watching TE13, some 12Z tropical models. Here's what the Hurricane Center says. Yes, you can see tropical storm, then hurricane, then major hurricane just north of the Leeward Islands. And look at this cone of uncertainty. It could come out this way or it could continue out this way. Bermuda should watch it as well. So I am concerned. Follow my uh, weather accounts for that. All right, now let's get to the very important Walgreens update. We're just going to do a few states today, and then we'll finish the rest of this. We'll finish some tomorrow, and then whatever's still left, we'll do on the next day. National positivity is 40.9%. Prior week was 43.6%. Difference of down 2.7%. Total test, 6,637. So testing continues to rise. Last week, I finished at 6,273 tests. Let's just do, let's just do a few states in the east. Then we'll do a few in the West, and I will try and keep track of which states we did and did not do in the coming days. Maine, can't click on Maine, Vermont, or New Hampshire, but we can do Massachusetts. What's going on there? Massachusetts is at 38.1%. This week, prior week, was 31.9%. Difference of up, 6.2%. This is not good, but testing is down, 42 versus 69 Coming down here to New York, New York is at 51.2% positivity this week, 45.1% last week. That's up 6.1%, and testing is up 129 versus 102. How about Rhode Island? What's going on with Rhode Island? 35.7% positivity this week, 50% last week, 14.3% down, 14 tests versus 14 tests. That's a legitimate drop. Connecticut. 33.3% positivity this week, 47.4% last week, difference of down 14%, total tests, 33 versus 19. So, yes, testing's up, and that, my friends, is a drop. New Jersey, 34.6% positivity this week, 40.1% last week, difference of down 5.5%, total test, 130 versus 142. And Pennsylvania is at 37.5% positivity this week, 33.3% last week, 4.2% up, 56 tests versus 45. So testing's up, but the positivity still rose. That's not good. Washington is at 48.4% positivity this week. Prior week was 40.4%. Difference of up, 8.1%, with testing being up, 64 versus 52. Legitimate rise. Oregon, 35.7% positivity this week. Prior week was 41.7%. Difference of down 6%, total tests, 28 versus 36, so uh, testing is uh, down there, and the positivity still dropped, that's a legitimate drop. And finally, we'll end on California, 49.6% positivity this week, prior week was 48.8%, difference of up 0.8%, 482 tests versus 471 so it went up and the testing went up that's not good all right we'll do some more states tomorrow probably the southeast and the great lakes or something like that uh, depends on how much news we have tomorrow too as you know wastewater this week it is uh upward in most places except for the south let's see what else do we want to show let's uh, come over to new jersey now and new jersey this week has or today has 326 hospitalizations, 16 people on a ventilator, and in the ICU, there are 38 people in the ICU, and discharges, there are 29 people discharged from the hospital. Now we're going to check in with Philadelphia, and there's several things I want to show you here. They did something today that I don't ever recall them doing before, but first off, the weekend roundup for total for ambulance incidents, I'm assuming this includes Monday. 2,374 EMS incidents. It was a very busy Labor Day weekend, but apparently, let's uh, skip to the, hey, here's today. Uh, the Monday count was 755, but then we come to this, and this this concerns me. I haven't seen them do this before. By 9.30 a.m. today in Philadelphia, the Philadelphia Fire Department had already responded to hundreds, it says hundreds, of EMS calls 
plus fires in different regions of the city. But we're here for the pandemic side of things. And hundreds of calls by 9.30 a.m. I don't know what the normal amount would be by 9.30 a.m., but it's sounding like it's going to be one of those 800-plus days. But we'll see the tally tomorrow. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's do a live looking at the suburbs. And, whoa, what's going on with uh, Montgomery County here? I'm seeing a lot of calls in Montgomery County. And that's not good. Let's see what's going on with Chester County. Also seeing a lot of calls in Chester County as well. Remember, it's extreme heat in the Northeast right now for this time of year. So there definitely could be also some heat-related calls being added in. Let's take a look at New York State. The latest update, and I believe this finishes last week, 1,580 total cases. Remember, this does include reinfections now. And taking a look at New York State hospitalizations, 1,157 people in hospital, 109 people in the ICU. Let's quickly do New York City, which we want to see. We will probably get the start of the new week tomorrow for New York State. And look at New York City. New York City did rise as well at this time. Nope, that's still not New York City. It always refreshes on us. If you're inactive on this page for a while, it will refresh on you. New York City... Ended last week with 502 people in the hospital and 58 people in the ICU. So, yes. Or, excuse me. No. New York City, 9-1. 517 people in the hospital, 57 people in the ICU. I was reading off Thursday's number. Nonetheless, I suspect when New York starts the week this week, it's probably going to be up yet again. We will get some more of these states. Texas uh, should come late tomorrow. Ohio will come on Thursday. Let's take a look at some international cases here. Real quickly, we'll just do a couple here. South Korea is down 47%. Their deaths are down 2%. New Zealand cases are up 4%. Their weekly deaths are up 37%. And then we come down here to Belgium. Cases up 44%. Uh, Israel, we already know their cases are rising. Now their cases are up a good amount, 32%. And take a look at this. Uh, their deaths are 10 versus 5. That's a 100% increase. Hong Kong is starting to see an increase in cases. 40% increase. They did not report any deaths. And then we come down here to Bulgaria. Cases are up 13%. Deaths are down 25%. And India, cases are still down uh, 29%. We don't show India at the start of the video anymore because they're not in a big wave right now. We were really concerned about XBB 116 earlier on, but as you know, there's other variants now. So, um, India, I mean, they still have cases. We're just not showing it. At some point, we'll probably include them from time to time again as necessary. Pakistan, cases are now up 153%. And I'm just seeing here, let's see, where Zimbabwe, five cases versus zero. That's why you have that 500%. And Myanmar, cases are up 11%. Alrighty, folks, I know this was a shortened pandemic update today. We'll have another pandemic update again tomorrow. Tomorrow will probably be a longer pandemic update. And pay attention to my uh, Twitter channels. At COVID Data Report, although it's now titled Data Report to match our channel here. And also keep an eye on my climate channels as well. We're going to be talking about uh, Lee and whatever comes to that. And any other climate news as well. So keep a track of my X Climate account and my YouTube channel for that as well. We'll have another pandemic update tomorrow. Um, everybody, stay safe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. And if you know anyone that needs a reminder that the pandemic's not over, by all means, share this with them because, you know, school just started. The holiday weekend just ended. That's a cause for infections to continue to go higher. So, yep, people need to uh, know that, hey, this is actually still real. After all, the first lady just tested positive, and now Whoopi Goldberg, her third time with COVID. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you again tomorrow. Until I see you then, stay safe, everyone. Have a great afternoon.